Hey guys, again, my name is Jason McManus. I'm the offensive coordinator uh, at South Point High School. Uh, three time state champs. Uh, we've run three in a row. Uh, got a really good thing going at South Point High School. Want to uh, thank you again for letting me speak on the Glazier uh, eClinic circuit. And thanks for tuning in. Uh, the last session, we're going to talk about RPOs uh, and incorporating RPOs into your offense, and then also um, RPO drills that, that we do that, that might help you guys. Okay. Again, the, the very first RPO that we do um, is we run the inside zone, okay, with bubble or fast screen tags, okay? And this is very elementary and it's very, very simple to teach, okay? And again, we, we see mostly a 4-1 box, a five-man box, quarters coverage, too high, uh, so we see very, very basic looks, okay? So the very first RPO that we teach uh, is we run it off of our kick scheme, which I talked about earlier. We can go kick left, or we can go kick right, or we can go zone left, or we can go zone right, okay? So for example, if we want to go kick right, okay, kick right, Z, Okay, the Y and Z, okay, which we talked about in our earlier session, are running 41, okay, or the fast screen, okay. The linemen are blocking kick, these guys are blocking the run, all right. So pre-snap, the quarterback is going to look out there, and if he likes the fast screen, okay, he's going to, he's going to throw it, all right. He's going to catch, open throw, 41 based on leverage and grass in numbers, okay? So for example, if the Sam split the difference and the corner's seven, eight, nine yards off, he's gonna throw the fast screen out there, but everybody else is blocking kick, all right? If, let's say he's head up and the corner's at five yards, he's probably not gonna throw that, and it, it, it's a feel thing, and it's based on grass. We teach him based on grass and linebacker leverage whether he throws that or not, okay? So he takes a peek out there. If he don't like it, we're running kick, and we've got a good 4-1 box to run the design play uh, that we really, really like, okay? We can run kick right Y, where now the Y runs the bubble, and then the Z blocks most dangerous as we're, we're running 42 there. If we go kick left X, kick left H, it's the same thing over here. Now we're running kick over here. Pre-snap looks if he likes it. The Y and Z are blocking the run play. Okay? So that's one way we do a basic RPO out of 2 by 210 uh, Another one that's been really good to us, all right, is the zone with the fast screen tags. All right? So I call this a combo as opposed to an RPO. All right, I call this more of a, a, a run-pass combo where the quarterback is reading the zone and has the option to either run it or throw it, all right? So for example, if we're running inside zone, all right, we're running inside zone here, so we've got zone left Z, all right? Zone left Z. The lineman all right, are blocking their covered, uncovered principles, all right? The quarterback is reading the defensive end. That's our basic inside zone concept. The back is reading primary to secondary read, depending on where he hits that thing. He's either gonna bounce it, bang it, or bend it, depending on what the D lineman do, okay? Zone left Z tells the Y and Z that they're running 41 there. All right, but it's a little bit different. This is not a pre-snap read. This is a post-snap read for the quarterback. Okay, so we're running zone. All right, the defensive end shoots straight up the field. He's going to give the zone. Quarterback carries his fake out. We're good. All right, let's say his shoulders are square and he's shuffling down the line. We're still going to give it. Okay, now. If the quarterback, if the defensive end chases the tackle, chases the tackle, our quarterback, that is a pull read 
for the quarterback. And you guys understand, we have a running quarterback at South Point. So I may teach him, hey, if that defensive end is shoulders are square, go ahead and pull that thing because you can beat him and you're a better athlete. So depending on what type of technique we're getting, okay, determines on whether I tell him to pull it or keep it, okay? So now, he pulls it, all right? Now, his second read, he's going to keep it, and he's taking the ball flat down the line, and now his eyes go to the number two defender or the Sam or Will linebacker. And then he's going to make a decision whether to throw the fast screen on the run or keep it and stick it in the alley based on what they're going to see. There's two things the quarterback's going to see, okay? The first one is when he pulls it and no, this guy sees the wide bubble uh, go flat, he's going to chase the fast screen, and that opens up a huge running lane for our quarterback who is one-on-one -on -one with the safety, which is a win for us, all right? The other look is when he pulls it, he's going to commit to him, and then that's when he's going to throw it on the run to the Z, and then we have a hat on a hat, all right? We're, we're, we've, got two, we've got two players on one. We've got a guy blocking the corner, and then we've got a guy with the ball, and that's the next closest defender, which is a, another win for us, okay? You can also tag the bubble. So if we went zone left Y, okay, it's the same thing. Zone left Y, the Z still blocking most dangerous man. He's doing that. If he chases the bubble, he sticks his foot in the ground and, stick, and runs north, north and south. If he commits to him, then he flips it out there on the bubble and we circle the defense. The great thing about this, guys, is this screen blocking is what we do every single day, okay? We spend a ton of time blocking the screens. In the earlier session, I talked about how we do that, okay? So we spend a ton of time blocking the screens, so it's nothing new for our guys. We just tag it Z, Y, X, or H. They know they're running the fast screen or they're running the bubble uh, based on what the play call is. And now we've got our quarterback in space. This puts tremendous stress and pressure on the outside linebacker to make a decision, okay? Make a decision on how's he going to play that, all right? Is he going to trigger and play the quarterback? Now we'll do that. Okay, or if he flies there, now I got my quarterback one on one there. Okay, very productive play for us. All right, a great drill that we do in the spring is we call it a half line run drill. Half line run. So the ball will be, let's say the ball's in the middle of the field, we'll put a ball here with a right guard and a right tackle and a Z and a Y. Over here, we'll put a ball, left guard, left tackle, an X and an H. Quarterback, quarterback, back, back, okay? So right here, we're going zone, left, Z, Y. We're going zone, right, X, and H, okay? So all you need is a coach, as a DN, coach is a sound linebacker, Coach is a corner. Coach is a DN or, or a scout team guy or a backup lineman. Okay? Wheel linebacker and a corner. Again, half line run. Okay, half line run. Okay? So now, you want to go zone. We're going to go zone left. They're, they're blocking zone. All right? You give him the read. All right? We want, it, we want him up the field, so we get it. Quarterback carries out his fate. Now, if you want to get really creative, Let's say we got Z. You can have a coach standing right here. He pulls it, he carries his fake. He gives it, pitch him a ball. Now he's got to carry out his fake and make a decision. The coach stands back here and he tells this kid, hey, fly out. Now he keeps it. Hey, commit to him. Throw it out there. Okay? So you're constantly giving your kid the look. Okay? Same thing over here. We go zone right H or zone right X. Let's say we go zone right H. Okay, now we got to block most dangerous air, which we do every single day. We got the bubble. Zone right. They're blocking zone right. There's the quarterback tree. Okay, carry out your fate. He commits. Throw it. He flies out. Stick your foot in the ground. Okay, very easy. He's up the field. Give it. Coach pitches him a ball. You do that. 
Okay, so in the spring, that's the very first thing we do when we teach this is our day one install. We do a half line run period, um, and then we do it out of trips as well. Okay, same exact thing. All right, same exact drill, and it's self-explanatory. We'll go trips here. We'll go Z, H, Y. We'll go trips here, X, H, Y. Okay, zone left, zone right. I'm sorry, zone left, zone right. Okay, same exact look. Here's your end, backer, corner. It's a Sam, okay, in, wheel or Sam, probably Sam if it's trips there, same look, zone left, you want to go Y, you can go H, you can go Z, same thing, pull it, read him, he flies out, keep it, he commits, throw it to him, throw it to him, throw it to him, same thing over here, zone right, okay, boom, 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 keep it, all right, he chases, Throw it to him, throw it to him, throw it to him. They're working their blocking scheme. It doesn't change. He can throw the ball. He's man on. He's man on. Throw it on the run. He commits. Throw it. He flies out. Stick your foot in the ground. Okay? So we work that over and over and over and over and over, uh, which is really easy for us. Okay? Now, another RPO that we do, I'm going to show you two more, and then we'll watch a little field. Okay? All right? Is now we're, 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 we're tagging... Q counter with stick out of three by one. Some teams also run Q draw with stick. We found that Q counter was a little bit better for us because of our lineman situation. All right. So here we're running basic stick concept. All right. Out of trips. So the Sam, the Mike, the Wheel, the Corner, the Weak Safety, you know, however they line up to that, all right? So we're going stick right, Q, counter, left, extra. And I'll explain the extra call in a minute. Now, old school counter for us is when we pull the guard and the tackle, and then the quarterback reads the defensive end, okay? Well, if we tag extra, the back becomes the second puller, okay? So, and the tackle pick hinges. And the reason we tag it extra is so we can get hands on this defensive end, and instead of him pulling and him blocking the end, all right, we just lock the tackle on the D end, okay? So we're, we're getting the, the double here, the block back, the kick, okay, and then the insert right there, all right? If he squeezes and spills it, then the back will get around it and track the linebacker who's scraping. Okay? Now, we're running stick. He's blocking most dangers. Six-yard stick route, five-yard out, run off right there. The quarterback is reading the Mike linebacker. Okay? Pre-snap, if he looks and he sees that he can throw the stick, he's going to throw the stick as hard and fast as he can. Okay? Catch it and jam the stick in there, okay? Give him a noose throw on either shoulder and then the guy on basketball turn and then get up the field, okay? Now, if they want to start bossing the backers, all right, and that Mike wants to widen out a little bit and take away the stick, okay, quarterback's going to set his feet to the stick and then he's running quarterback counter, which if you look at it, we've got one, two, three, four, we got five, six, seven counting the quarterback, and they've got a five-man box, okay? So again, quarterback's going to set to the stick. If he don't like it, then he's going to follow his pulling guard and his back, read the blocks, either hit it tight or jump cut out of it, okay? Now, again, teams very rarely gave us a stick this year, okay? They very rarely... They would drop that safety over him and give us just basic cover three so the quarterback knows he's not throwing the stick, so he knows he's going to run the ball. He would just set his feet and then do that. Now, again, some teams do draw, okay, which, you know, our linemen, we don't like doing that because our linemen have a hard time holding up. We don't have really strong kids. 
So it would be the same thing if you went stick, draw, okay? Quarterback reads a mic, probably put the back on the other side, and now you're working draw here, they're working there, run them up the field, run them up the field. Quarterback sets to the stick, okay, throw it. If he doesn't like it, then he resets and hands the ball to the back, okay? So that's stick, draw, or cue counter draw, which we had a lot of success running this year.